Are you in the hunt for a Gantt chart experience? Well, Gantt Pro wants to be your base for Gantt charts. And in today's video, we're gonna give you an overview of what it does and how it works and a little bit more about it in more detail. Hello folks, my name is Francesco. And if you're in the hunt for Gantt charts or any project management software, you can jump over to Toolfinder with a growing list of project management applications and reviews to give you insight into which one is best for you. So Gantt Pro is one I've done a in-depth deep dive on and I was fairly impressed at the Gantt abilities, not so much at the project management abilities, but I want to go over how they work and a little bit more detail about them. So Gantt Pro has and gives you access to Gantt charts that essentially allow you to structure and timeline your projects that you're working on. And to be honest, the Gantt experience is good and also works very well as a good Gantt chart overall. And I think there's a feature that works alongside it quite well called workload, which I'll talk about in a little bit more detail in a moment. But as a premise, you can set up your tasks, add milestones, and even get detailed features like bulk change and also critical path and baseline, which give you better insights into how you're using your Gantt chart. You can change your views from hourly, which is really granular, all the way over to month view as well. If you've got loads of different projects that are spanning multiple months of the year. Now as a whole, this Gantt chart experience is pretty decent. In the pro plan, there's some great abilities when it comes to actually setting up a Gantt chart that you and your team know are going to be functional and easy to use. And you can open up tasks and add more detail to them like descriptions, more items on your task list, as well as set the progression of them and also the prioritization of them. Now, if you want to translate any of the Gantt charts that you've created into board list views, you can. You can create a Kanban board, which you can set up as the status or even the priority or the person that's working on that task. But both the board view and the list view are super basic. The list view allows you to add the custom fields around the side in the pro plan. But at the same time, what you're getting on there is very simplistic in nature in the board and list view. Now, coming to the workload view, that actually pops up at the bottom of the Gantt chart application, which allows you to see how much time people are spending on those uh, pieces of work. And you can see when, for example, working eight hours a day, if somebody's working 12 hours, then they're going to be stressed and overloaded with their tasks on their list. And as a manager, this is really helpful. You can actually go in, see, okay, that person's working too much and reallocate their time effectively. So this is really helpful, as well as on top of all the other milestones, dependencies, and stuff you typically get as a Gantt chart. This allows you to pop it up at the bottom and see it uh, at, at, at any time which is helpful there's also its own view as well and you do get some level of project management setups on the left hand side where you can go into my tasks my time long in which you can track your tasks as well and they do have mobile applications as well so overall, Gantt Pro is probably best for those who are sticking to the Gantt chart structure and need a good way to see what workload and focus is on. It's definitely not going to win any awards for design. It's definitely not going to win any awards for general project management function. But if your premise and your core is a Gantt chart, then this might be a good application for you. There's other Gantt chart applications like Team Gantt, which I think, and I tested them together, actually Team Gantt does a better job of their Gantt chart structure um, in terms of accessing it for free, because Gantt Pro is not free. You have to pay for a plan unless you are a student, uh, and the plans start from $7.99 if you're going for the annual basic plan. But Team Gantt actually offers that for free, which is pretty decent. And obviously uh, you can check out a full review on Toolfinder if you're interested in that. But overall, this is a good, solid Gantt chart function. It's not gonna win any awards on design, not gonna win any awards on project management, but it'll get you and your team set up with the right Gantt experience. So folks, hopefully you found this video useful and it helped gave you an idea which one's right for you. As I said, Project management software is tricky to find, so jump over to Tool Finder and you'll be able to help you find anyone and discover all those tools on there. So thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Cheerio, folks.